So we're going to be talking about sorting three-dimensional shapes today. I want you to sort these three-dimensional shapes into two groups. So every single shape should be used. So you're going to draw two circles. And you have to be able to draw or explain why they go in their group. You can't just say, well, some of them are this and some of them are that. That's not how things go in a group. We've talked about um, putting things into groups before. So go ahead and draw to sort these three-dimensional shapes. Look at the shapes on your page. What shapes do you see? You see cubes. Very good. Remember the word sphere is kind of hard, but remember the PH says, and then my silent E is going to hop over, make the E say E. So we have cubes and spheres. Can you sort the shapes into groups of big shapes and small shapes? Sure. You could do these. Um, small shapes, and then this group is big shapes, okay? You could do that. I did see that someone did that. Um, can you sort the shapes into groups? Um, by shape? Sure, we could do, which I saw a lot of us do, most of us did this, by cubes and spheres, okay, that's two groups. Um, can you sort shapes that are by color? Yeah. I saw one person do that, that they sorted by blue and then by red, okay. So I don't know why I see erasing because no matter how you sorted it, as long as every single one was in a group, you could have sorted by any of these weights. Now, first three, if I sorted by color, can I just go ahead and add this one in there into this group? No. Um, why not? Because, because it's not the same color. color. Well, because, um, it's... This is the red group, and this is blue, and it's all red and blue. Okay, it has to be in the blue group, doesn't it? Even though it's a sphere, it has to be in the blue group. What if I added, um, what if I add, what if I made it smaller? Can I add it to this group? No. no. Why not? Because it's still not the same color. Just because it might be the same shape. Or the same size as one of them, it has to be color if I sort it by color. You guys are exactly right. Okay, how is a sphere different from a cube? I want you to talk to your neighbor about that. How is a sphere different from a cube? Good job, first grade. I heard a lot of good explanations. I heard some people say, well, a sphere is only round. There's nothing flat about a sphere. Is that true? Mm -hmm. So it makes it different than a cube because a cube is only flat. So there is nothing that's curved or round on a cube at all. That's how we're going to be sorting our shapes today. Go ahead and turn your paper over. A sphere, which is the first shape we're going to look at today, a 
ear is different okay. from all the rest of our shapes. What is what makes this ear completely different from all the rest of our shapes? It has no sight. You're exactly right. Let's look at the next one. The cone does probably roll a little bit. If we were to tip the cone over on its side, it would roll a little bit. However, what else does the cone also have? Flat side. A flat surface as well. So it could stay still, but it could also roll. So does it have both? Yes. Yes, it does. Does a sphere have both? No. No, it does not. But a cone, okay. but a cone oh, will only roll in a tiny circle. It won't like, roll That's away. right. It won't keep rolling in the same direction. You're right. Okay. What about a cylinder? Remember how we talked about how to read cylinder? Because CY says, and then we have in dir because ER says earth. Cyl in dir. Cylinder. What does a cylinder have? Something so it can stand up. Okay, so it's got a flat surface. In fact, it has two flat surfaces, doesn't it? It's just like, it's just like, um, <coughs> toilet paper roll. Like, yeah, a toilet paper roll is in a cylinder. So it's got two flat surfaces and... Uh, and the wrong side, so it's like a sphere. And but, a curved surface. But it has surface. Too. Okay. So this is the curved surface of the cylinder, but then it has two flat surfaces. Now, we kind of had trouble with this one um, a couple days ago, on, I think it was on Friday. What shape is this right here? It's a rectangle. But a rectangle is flat. So if I put more rectangles together to build it, it makes a rectangular prism. You have to have both of those words. Rectangular prism. That's what this shape is. Um, so a rectangular prism has a rectangle tangle in it. Now, it's kind of confusing because my cube could also be called a rectangular prism, and you're going to have to know that today. Okay, so could my cube be called a rectangular prism? Yes, it could. I would much rather you call it a cube, but if it says circle all the rectangular prisms, this could also be a rectangular prism. Okay. So you have to be careful, don't you? Okay. But mostly a rectangular prism starts out as a rectangle. And then I can build it with more rectangles. That's what makes it a rectangular prism. Okay. You just well if you to do your rectangles in your cube, your rectangle, you draw one rectangle and then just above it and off to the side, you draw another rectangle and then you remember you connect the um, the corners. Okay, and then it makes a rectangular prism. Okay. So then, first grade, we know what a cube looks like because we just got this word in our cubes. Okay? So, first grade, you are going to use all of these shapes. You are going to sort them with flat surfaces only, curved surfaces only, or both flat and curved. So this can only go in one of these boxes. This can only go in one of these boxes. Does everyone see that? So 
you have to do that with every single one of them, but you need to make sure it goes in the right um, box. Sir, we are not worried about drawings right now. I am worried about making sure you know and understand the directions. Okay? So, make sure that you read the directions carefully. This says only flat surfaces. So, even if it has a flat surface, and a curved surface can it go here? <laughs> no, because even if it has a flat surface, it can it does not go in here because I only want flat surfaces. Now, the other thing is too, I want you to draw the shape and label it. Should you spell it correctly? Yeah. Why? It's up here. It's up here. Because it is up here on our directions. Also, I know that your shapes are not going to be exactly perfect, and I am okay with that. But I want you, I nice want right. you to try. Okay? So I want you to try to make it look like a cone. I want you to try to make it look like a sphere. Okay? Just do your very best. But in all, in addition to your picture, you are also going to... Um, play, play, play. Play. Okay. If I drew my cone here, can I draw my cone here? Nope. Nope. So something is wrong if it goes in both. You have to check to see where it goes. Okay. You need to put it somewhere else. Does everyone understand what we are doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are working with three dimensional shapes. So um, make sure you get to know the shapes really well. If it's a curved surface, a flat surface, if it has both, how many sides, that's what we're working on today.